What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Finally, today is the day Apple has released iOS 10.3 Beta 1 to developers. And I wanted to cover a few of the new features for you guys in Beta 1 to let you know what you can expect moving forward. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so iOS 10.3. Just before I jump in here, iOS 10.2.1 was released this weekend as well. There were no major new features with the iOS 10.2 update, but if you wanna check out all the information you need to know about it, I will have my video down there in the description that I made a few days ago all about iOS 10.2.1, so go ahead and check that out. As for iOS 10.3, it does bring some new great features to the table, and so I wanted to cover it a little bit more in depth for you guys here. Now I do have iOS 10.3 Beta 1 installed here on my iPhone 6, as you guys can see right there, iOS 10.3. Apple in the release notes actually says this update is all about bug fixes and improvements, but there are some great features here to talk about, so not really sure why they made the description so nonchalant. Anyway, first thing first, something quite annoying that I want to clear up right off the bat, Apple still has not introduced the dark mode that we were expecting from the rumors on the firmware. Now, it may be released with a future firmware, but they don't even mention it in the release notes of the firmware, so I know you guys are going to comment about this down in the description comments section, so I just wanted to clear that up. I really am hoping that we see it in a future beta. I do think we will but it's not in the first beta right here. Moving on, Apple did include a new Find My AirPods feature if you do own the Apple AirPods. Now, this makes a ton of sense to me. I don't personally own them, but one of the worst features of the AirPods is that it seems like you may lose them because they're so small, they're wireless. Apple is now allowing you to play sounds on your AirPod using the Find My iPhone app and the last device that you actually did pair with the AirPods themselves. They're also allowing you to see the location of the AirPods in the Find My iPhone app as well. Very useful for users of the AirPods and definitely needed. I know I use this on my iPhones everywhere to see my other Apple devices, so definitely needed, like I said, thank you Apple. Now if you open up the settings application and go to the home screen here, you will be able to see that there is a top section right here that acts as a central hub for all of your devices and your Apple ID. Now this was previously part of iOS to begin with, but it makes it a lot easier to find the info that you want about your iCloud account, all the devices connected to your iCloud account, right there centrally located at the top of the device settings application. Moving forward, it's very nice to have access to that in a convenient spot. Apple is also adding a reduce motion feature in websites in Safari. Now, this will act similarly to the reduce motion feature on the home screen of iOS, as you guys can see right here in accessibility. You can reduce the motion of the user interface, including the parallax effect and the icons. So if you go ahead and see, you can get rid of some of those animations there, and it just makes it a little bit easier for those sensitive to motions. They're going to have this in Safari. Always nice to have customizations in the applications themselves. Not really sure how it will work in Safari, but definitely going to keep you guys updated. Now Siri in iOS 10.3 has been updated to allow you to pay bills, check on the status of payments using Apple Pay, and book a future scheduled Uber ride. All helpful improvements and very, very nice to have in Siri directly integrated into iOS. I don't use the CarPlay feature, but CarPlay has also been updated in iOS 10.3 to provide shortcuts in your car to recently used applications. And the Maps app in CarPlay will allow you to see electric car charging stations right inside your car. Very nice if you have something like a Tesla like that. I mean, I would love to have a Tesla, but I don't. Very nifty feature to have built right into CarPlay. We are expected to see performance improvements going forward as Apple is introducing a new file system with this beta called Apple File System or APFS. I won't be reviewing that until we have a more stable release as the betas tend to be buggy, but it does seem to be running very, very smoothly right here on my iPhone 6, no problems right now, so I'm sure that will just continue to improve. Now moving on to jailbreak apps, guys, it does look like all of these applications I have installed here actually do still work on iOS 10.3 to install jailbreak apps without a jailbreak. I will be doing future videos on that. But overall, that's iOS 10.3 and some of the big features included with it. Unfortunately, we did not see the dark mode I was hoping that we would see, but you know, we'll hopefully probably see that in a future beta, so I will keep you guys updated. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up. Just go ahead and click the subscribe button down there. I will also have my website and my social networks for you guys to follow down there in the description. Very, very helpful to me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys are excited about iOS 10.3 as we move forward with the betas. And I just hope that there is more great features to come with each of them in iOS 10.3 as we move forward. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Stay awesome.
and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.